It's like crispy on the top and so juicy in the inside. I know that this is not high-end Brazilian steakhouse, all-you-can-eat experience, but I think this is the closest that you're gonna get for casual eats in LA. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Los Angeles because I'm gonna be checking out another rockin' Brazilian steakhouse. This is Pampa's Grill. Whenever you think of the word casual Brazilian barbecue, this is the one that most often comes up in people's mind, the place you got to eat at in Los Angeles. So if you guys wanna see what one of the best Brazilian steakhouses done casually looks like in LA, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing buffet style Brazilian food that I'm about to show you right now. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And uh, wow, this is a very nice restaurant. It's actually bigger than I thought. I am so excited. Let's go. There are two locations of Pampa's Grill in LA. The other one I've been to at the Farmer's Market, which is uh, pretty much a takeout and you sit anywhere at the market. But this one in Culver City is like full on brick and mortar establishment. There's a lot of seating at this place. And as you can see behind me, that is the buffet bar where you can have salads and hot foods, 10 different choices of Brazilian barbecue meats. It's not all you can eat, let me tell you that. So this buffet, what they do is you pick your foods, they weigh it, and that's how they charge you. But still, a lot of people come here because it's reasonably priced and it tastes good. It's really the go-to spot. So the line begins to the left-hand side, and it is a good thing that they label these for you so you know exactly what you're getting. Let me show you everything they got here. Beginning with the tomato balsamic salad. Wow, that looks pretty good. It's like so much tomatoes in there. And then you have a green salad, which looks pretty uh, ordinary, I guess. And then the Caesar salad, which I always like at uh, any restaurant. And beet salad, very healthy stuff. And then you got your hearts of palm. Looks like there's tomato and cucumber in there too. And this one is a, like a broccoli salad, pretty good. And then you got your potato salad and a freshly stocked seasoned boiled egg. And that one is the pasta salad. And then cantaloupe. So the, yes, they do got their fruits here. And this is called the salpicao uh, chicken salad. I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, forgive me. And some more fruits like pineapple and some avocado and uh, fresh corn. And it looks like these are your salad dressings like Caesar salad, Italian dressing and uh, vinaigrette and some olives, even got some balsamic vinegar and some oil. And now we're moving on to the hot section. How exciting, this is the veggie rice. Uh, I don't think I've had this before, but I definitely had the regular white rice and, I have, and plantains. Obviously, you gotta have this at your buffet experience. And some black beans. This is a vegetarian dish. Good thing they note that. And you got here what's called a farofa, which is yuca flour. This goes good on like anything. And some breaded fried catfish. I think they're gonna stock up on more of this in just a bit. And some garlic pasta. Oh, that sounds so good now. And some fried yuca, that sounds even better. And some chicken stroganoff. This is a very comforting dish. Goes good with rice. And mashed potatoes, I always like that. And this is collard greens. And we got some beef stew, nice. I'm tempted to fill up on all the hot foods. And then you got some cheese breads, which you'll see in a lot of Brazilian restaurants. Some cabbage. And this is a unique item, banana squash. Cool. And all your sodas. Uh, they got the American sodas, obviously. They even got this, Brazilian soda. This is where they're grilling all the meats. They have a lot up here because 
once you get to peak lunchtime especially, a lot of customers come in and they just really go all out with it. And wow, I just love the fact they use mesquite charcoal and then it's like roasting so perfectly. You can see it, I'm getting so excited. So oh man, that is the picanha. Look how smoking hot it is. This is really fresh off the grill, yikes. Oh, it smells so good. So that's the garlic beef, guys. That is so tender and that is cooked to perfection. And that is the tri-tip. That is so beautiful. So the inside is about, I think, medium. Yeah, so it's cooked about medium, which is, to me, is perfect. Some people like medium rare, but yeah, try to get uh, at least medium. So guys, this is Sami right here. She's the uh, manager at uh, Pampa's Grill. So basically what you do is take the plate, you go down cafeteria style, and I'm telling you, that tomato looks so good and it's very healthy too. They good? Yep, and some beets. I'm telling you, even if I didn't have any of the meats, I could so fill up on this uh, other stuff. You guys get excited when you see this? I do. So yes, they cut it for you on the cutting board and then they would uh, pretty much put it on your plate. This is almost about three pounds, so it's about 41.76 for me. As you can tell, I'm a big eater. You don't have to get $40, $50 worth of food. There are some people who really go all out with it. You can go as low as even 10 or 15 if you want to, if you're a light eater. But I get so excited whenever I'm at these types of Brazilian uh, steakhouses. Oh yeah, I got a really big plate here. Because all the meat is on top, I feel like it's telling me to eat it first, but I know I should probably eat the veggies first, which is buried all the way in the bottom. Find all those tomatoes that are buried underneath all this meat. I always feel that tomatoes is a good complement to beef. Pasta, not quite as healthy, but if I see garlic pasta, it's like I'm so getting it. Oh, yeah, that's like such a good, that would make for a really good snack. It's like very thin garlic flavored pasta, which I always like. I feel like I've just opened up a box of chocolates and I'm just trying to discover everything that's inside of this. Mm, it's like so chewy. I mean, if I didn't have to concentrate on the, all these other foods, then yeah, I would order about 20, 30 of these. And that would be like a nice big snack for me. Okay, so meats, here we go. Which one should I go with? I think I'm gonna go with the picanha first. Mm. <laughs> I feel that that fat on top really adds tremendous flavor to the meat. I mean, other than that, it probably tastes like uh, like your typical steak, but once you have that fat around it, which is fatty and crispy, then it adds a lot of flavor. Best seller. So yeah, get this. And I think this one is the garlic beef from what I remembered. Wow, that's a very big mouthful. It's garlic flavored. What more can you ask for? It's one of the best choices up there from what I heard. So yeah, definitely get the garlic beef. But then I also heard the spicy chicken is quite a thing here at this restaurant as well. I like spicy chicken, just not too spicy. <laughs> that is even more tender than I thought. Oh, the spiciness, it's like a very tasty spicy. So it's not like a very bad burning, like off turning spicy. So yeah, if you're thinking of getting a chicken up there, then I think the spicy chicken is the way to go because everybody gets it here. And I, I like it too, it's very delicious. Here's another thing that I have to get with my meals, the sausage, it's cooked to perfection. It looks very crispy. I think I'm actually enjoying the food here better than when I was at the Pampas Gra, the Grove. But yeah, the sausage is also another must get item. I don't want to forget about the tribe tip too. Another really good cut on the menu. Mm. 
This is definitely the tri-tip. It tastes like a tri-tip. Now, me personally, this isn't my favorite cut here. I would much rather go with the picanha, but still, I mean, tri-tip is always a good cut of meat and it's, uh, it's very delicious. So if you're into that, then definitely go with this one. And this pineapple is a new addition to the menu, only here at the Culver City location, not at the other place. It's uh, very perfectly sweet. And that cinnamon on top, it's caramelized to perfection. If you never had pineapples in a Brazilian steakhouse, you have to get it as part of your meal. At least get it towards the end. A lot of people do. And you'll see why, because it's like almost kind of like the really sweet ending to a very fabulous meat experience. Now I do have to say that the meat doesn't taste exactly like what you would get at, for example, Fogo de Chao or M Grill. But considering you're paying like half the cost and you have uh, so much options to choose from at this buffet, it exceeds your expectation and I really give it a thumbs up. There's a reason why a lot of people come to this restaurant because it's affordable, it tastes great, you got so many options. If you are here in Culver City or maybe you're over there by the farmer's market at the Grove, check out Pampas. But I would definitely recommend the Culver City one if you want free parking and a very big restaurant space, uh, you know, like uh, you have so much seating everywhere and then they even have a bar, some music on Friday nights, all good stuff. And it's probably also worth mentioning that this restaurant on Monday through Thursdays, you can get 15% off of your bill from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So that's another good reason to come to Pampas in Culver City. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. So you know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.